Valencia Frederick and her family, they live here on Northeast 2nd Street, and this has been a common occurrence for them for the last nine days. They've been sleeping in their car on some days. Other days they have been staying in hotels. They have not had power since uh, the storm hit on Sunday. That was nine days ago. Now in the back of their home, you see some of those wires hanging down. That is a, a pretty uh, bad sight because it's uh, on a handful of homes right down the street. A couple of dozen people are still without power in this area. Now, Valencia Frederick, she told me that FPNL and those utility workers have been out here before. Listen to what she had to say about their visits. They um, came out, we assume they'll walk in the back, and then that's it, they leave and nothing happened. So the fact that you see them here now and they're walking around again, how does that make you feel? It don't make me feel good because they've never been out here before. Nothing's going to be satisfied to me until the lights are back on. And those utility workers, those FPNL workers, and uh, they came out here about 30 minutes ago and they set up uh, a certain type of equipment. They are in the back of those homes uh, uh, paying attention to those wires that are hanging down. Her only hope is that they restore the power sometime this afternoon. Again, dozens of people here in this neighborhood near Northeast 2nd Street, not too far from Gateway Boulevard, are still without power. We'll certainly keep you updated. Reporting live in Boynton Beach, Ted White, WPBS 25 News.